So we have previously talked about Expedition 33 a couple of times since the announcement, and it's been something I've been keeping an eye on uh, as it's been coming along. Now, it's not until next year, so it's not high on my list of priorities, but they did just drop yesterday the voice cast reveal and a trailer, which I have not watched yet. Um, and this voice cast is absolutely stacked with some amazing people. I, this is a must play now. Like th this went from me being slightly interested in it to being, oh yeah, yeah, we're playing this. Um, it looks like it's going to be available everywhere, like Xbox, PlayStation, the Epic Store, PC, uh, all these places. We'll take a look here in a minute. But right now what I want to go through is the actual cast here because we start off with uh, Charlie Cox, Daredevil. I mean, just absolutely amazing. It says here his character is... It's Gustav or Gustave. I should probably wait for the pronunciations until we watch the video because I don't know um, how they pronounce their names. Um, so he's an engineer growing up under the painter's shadow in Lumiere. He's devoted his life to safeguarding the city. He's ready to risk it all. Um, then we have <laughs> probably my favorite voice actress for any female uh, character that I've ever interacted with over the years. Second only to Claudia Black uh, would be Jennifer English, who was my first love in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> her, her portrayal of, of Shadowheart was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the character, I, I, I'm going to get all teary eyed and thinking about this, guys. She's brilliant. Um, happy to see her in more stuff. That was the first project that I ever came across her in. Um, and I want her to get all the work now, please. Um, so she plays the character of male or if it is a child. Her only connection is with um, Charlie Cox's character, who's her foster brother. She's the youngest of the expedition at 16 years of age and sees this as a chance to escape and explore the world beyond. Oh, 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 oh. Um, then we have... This is someone I'm not familiar with. Kirsty Ryder playing Loon Lune. She's from Sand. Oh, is this the detective girl? Oh, yeah. This is the... Um, I vaguely remember that now. Um, okay. Then we have Shala Nix from The Old Guard, which was that movie that Netflix did, right? About the immortals. Um, I think. Maybe that's what that's from. Okay. And Andy Serkis. As Renoir, uh, <laughs> a man driven by ruthless determination. His sole focus is saving his family, but beneath that fierce exterior lies a deep, agonizing loss. He knows that victory demands sacrifice, and he's ready to pay any price. And then Ben Starr from Final Fantasy um, 16. Um, so an absolutely stacked cast of characters. Um, let's go ahead and watch the full trailer here. Do you know what it means to disappear into nothingness? <laughs> Freaking Andy Circus. Their memories. I love the art style. Their dreams. Their love for each other. We exist for as long as she wants. You won't yet understand. But this is a kindness, not a cruelty. God, the music as well. The plan doesn't change. We keep heading north. Guys, I have so many we goosebumps right now. <laughs> I am not. Oh, this looks amazing. Out here. I, I am getting a little emotional right now. This looks phenomenal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a cool menu. So it's turn-based. Six people in the party. To see I am doing this Counter moves. Their prison. 
in the shadow. Oh my god! Of the monolith. Shadow of the monolith. See you. Claire Obscure, Expedition and then 33. Next life. Spring of 2025. Okay, this is this is not even a question now, guys. This is a must play. Uh it says here this is uh coming hey, let me let me open this again. Oh, it's going to be a Game Pass. Uh, when did I first hear about this? Was it at X? Was it at the Game Xbox Game Conference, or was it at Gamescom? It had to have been Xbox then, because I know I've I've talked about it a couple times on the channel now. I just don't remember when, because I was waiting for more news. Um, so if it's a Game Pass title, we'll probably be playing it on the Xbox, unless they do some sort of like pre-order with uh, early access. If they do some sort of pre-order with early access. I'll probably end up doing that, and if that's the case, I'll do it on the PS5. But it's also going to be available through Epic's Games and Steam, so they're making it available anywhere. Oh, this is another Unreal 5 one, I think. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm super interested now. Um, this is their website. This is the blog. This is the expedition look. And then they have another gameplay video, which I think is what we covered um, no, actually, that one was from August 28th. Did we watch that one? I can't remember if you watched this one. Let's watch it right now. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do it. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. So we're underwater. I don't remember seeing this one. That looks amazing. Sixty-eight. Elodie's expedition. You know the commanders of every expedition. Expedition sixty-eight. Their boat was blown into the air by a storm. Lumiere lost sight of it, but assumed they crashed on the continent. And they survived. The storm, at least. Alright, let's that keep music, moving. guys. This we whole... found the weird corals. My own must be close by. Species. Doesn't matter. They're between us and my head. Oh man. Yeah, guys. This is a must play. Now we're into the turn based combat. I hadn't seen this before. I wonder how I missed this. Well, we're here now. That music. That's um Middle Earth the Third Age, is that what it was called? Which is a Lord of the Rings game that had open world exploration in third person, but then when you did combat it was the reaction turn based stuff. Over there. A hut. Slow down. We don't know what's inside yet. This is breathtaking. Oh my god. This building has a certain melancholy beauty. Shut up! A lone outpost of humanity nestled amongst the corals. A sailor lost at sea. A resident cynic of Mount Hood. Wouldn't expect a Cartesian engineer to understand beauty.
I, this is some of the best music I've like personally. I realize that music is subjective. This Jeez. soundtrack that they've been playing. I'm just and I love the droplets in the air. Like, oh my god, this looks like. I'm I literally this is I keep telling I keep saying I get goosebumps. This kind of stuff, guys. This is why I play video games because of the emotional. Dude, ever since I was a kid, reading fantasy novels for the first time. This is the stuff that gets me off. Watch out! I love imaginative, creative worlds and being able to explore them. It only attacks when... It's coming! Crushed a rose. Spill some ink, she said. It's gotta be tied to whatever her class is. Or maybe that's the creature. Has ink for blood. He's got a boatload of hit points. Long, that probably that fight probably took a while. <laughs> it seems peaceful as long as we don't touch the flowers. Yeah, let's not get too sentimental. It's still a painter's creation. Something about paint. Painter's creation. Somebody said something about ink. Dude, that gets me excited. I love it when people do creative stuff. There was a game I played a while back. The guy was a writer, and he could go into books and use ink to change events in the book. And so his, his job was literally to be sent from the real world into books. I can't remember what that was called. Damn, Maya, what was that? It was a little indie game. It felt familiar somehow. Gustav, we won't understand what's going on if we kill everything that moves. The Jestral village must be ahead. <laughs> My bad. You know what Nevrons are capable of. She'll be fine. Get a little bit of Robert Pattinson look She'll here. She'll be fine. I could dig it. God damn. Expedition 33. This is now a must play. Um, yeah, I missed that completely. I remember catching the a uh, couple of the original like release videos and stuff uh, about the news when it first got announced, but I had not seen that either. That's amazing. Yeah, here's what I remember seeing: the June one, because I was I remember when I because this was in, when I was on my trip, and I covered it while I was on my trip, and I like some stuff after that. So that was the um, yeah the Xbox Game Showcase. That's when I first heard about this. I had not seen that gameplay look. Um, well, oh my god, guys, uh, we just, this now just catapulted up into, like, one of my most anticipated titles of 2025. Um, that looks absolutely amazing. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't know if I'll play it on PS5 or Xbox, uh, one of the others. I can't wait. Uh, have you seen this? Do you know guys know about this? Uh, if not, well, now you do, and if you did, let me know in the comments below, because this is going to be phenomenal uh daily streams at 9 a.m mountain time youtube and twitch we're playing a lot of games before we get to this point so hopefully we'll see you in the next one stay safe happy gaming out there everybody